Hey friends, this just came to my door. The new Roland VH14D digital hi-hats. I'm gonna open the box and let's see what's inside. All right, so I have all the components here at the kit. This is my very normal hi-hat stand, and it's just a DW hi-hat stand. So the first thing that goes on is the rotation stopper, the bottom symbol rotation stopper. And this is a new design, and uh, one of the interesting things about this is it goes on upside down. So loosen this up all the way. And we're gonna use the, uh, we have the three spacers here. That, uh, that Roland includes with the uh, rotation stopper, small, medium, and large. Since this stand is on the larger side, we're gonna do the, uh, the large spacer, one that's marked L. So put that inside, and then we can put it on the stand. Okay, so we're going to leave this loose right now because I have some adjusting to do here in a second. All right, next up, the bottom symbol, which, like I said, is laid at the bottom, which is the, just the coolest thing in the world. All right, so this orientation is very, very important. You have the A on the right side, the B on the left side. So if you're looking at the symbol, then Roland is, is straight up and the way, it's, the way it should be. All right, this goes on. Watch the cable. Fits right on there. You can leave the felt. That's fine. And then... We're gonna take these rotation stoppers and bring them up and they hook in to the bottom symbol, much like on the, uh, the older version hi-hats. So make sure that's nice and tight. And now that symbol isn't gonna, isn't gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna rotate all the way around. Cable's free, I'm gonna leave that for a second. All right, next up, we take the top symbol with the two cables. They're also marked with an A and a B. Now the A's over here, the B's over here. So this symbol is gonna go around like that. And again, Roland should be on the far side facing or, um, or upright to the drummer. Get the A chord and the B chord plugged in. All right. Ah, oh, that looks great. A full-size hi-hat on <laughs> full-size kit. Full-size hi-hat, I love it. Very cool. And it's very light, too. It feels like a normal hi-hat. We're gonna get this adjusted here in a second. Let's get the, uh, the cable plugged in. Now, here's the first part of the USB cable. Here is the USB cable extension. Happens every time. Okay, lock that in. There it is. All right, let's get the module on and get it calibrated. Here we go. Now these VH14Ds work with the TD27 module, which is the module I prefer, the TD50 and the new TD50X. There are three digital trigger inputs in the back of each of those modules, one for the digital snare, one for the digital ride, and then one for the new hi-hats. If you're on the 27 or one of the old 50s, you do need to update the uh, software. And uh, that's pretty easy, just go to roland.com and uh, follow all the instructions on their support page. Okay. Digital pad connected, go to the trigger settings, yes. Pad, CY18DR, 140DS, there we go. And now we are good. Let's go to, um, let's go to the, uh, the hi-hat settings and see, okay, 14D, yep, sounds good. Let's go ahead and set the offset. Loosen, execute. 
All right, let's see how it plays. <laughs> 